there's this restaurant. There's actually a, a, a couple of them. This is happening. Here we go. Jay Porter, the founder of Linkery, previously of San, Fran- San Diego, currently uh, close to move to San Francisco, eliminated tipping in that restaurant's second year. Instead, he put an 18% surcharge and just, you know, everybody gets the tip. So that's one way to do it. Another is other restaurants are simply saying, you know, instead of paying our, our uh, wait staff three bucks an hour plus tips, we're going to pay them, you know, 15 bucks an hour plus benefits, period. And just say no tipping. Another option, which I don't see anybody discussing in the United States, but it's kind of a middle ground, is to say... Uh, you can tip, but you can't tip over 10%. So it's kind of the, the European model. In fact, Europeans are the bane of the existence. First time European tourists to the United States are the bane of the lives of, of people who work at restaurants on the East Coast. Well, all over the country, presumably. But I know in particular on the East Coast, on the West Coast, where tourists just suddenly pop up from, from Germany or France. And, and they tip 5% and think that they're really, really doing good, right? 10%? Wow! I mean, when, you, when you're in Europe, in many of these countries, in many of these places, you kind of basically tip with pocket change. Because the person is already making a decent wage. In fact, if you don't get really superlative service, don't tip at all. Nobody's offended. Well, maybe a little bit. But the point is that Tipping is that for wait staffs, this is kind of the last of the um, meritocracies in the United States. Or the last place, one of the, la- one of the few places where consumers have a direct interface and are able to, uh, you know, with, with people who are providing services and are able to respond to that in a way that, that is calibrated to the, to the quality of service they got. Go to a McDonald's, you don't tip the, the, the person at McDonald's. If you go into a, a department store or go into Walmart, buy something, somebody helps you out, you don't tip them. But taxis and, and even that, I mean, you know, Uber now doesn't take tips. You can't, you can't tip an Uber driver. Instead, what happens, Uber is the service that, that uh, is giving the taxis a run for their money big time here in Washington, D.C., where limousine drivers in their spare time will pick you up. It's a whole computer, you know, runs on an iPhone kind of thing. And uh, it's all computerized. It's super efficient. And basically for the cost of a cab ride, a little bit more. Now they've got Uber X, which is actually the cost of a cab ride a little bit less. Again, no tips. They will take you anywhere you want to go. And they do it in nice, clean, brand new, fresh, freshly, you know, spiffy cars and nice drivers. And it's really pretty cool. But you still, it's still a meritocracy because when you get out... Before you can order the next car on the app, you are required to rate that driver one to five stars. And if the drivers, if their number of stars starts dropping below a certain threshold, I'm not sure what it is. I've heard that it's four and a half, but I, I or four, I'm not really, I don't know. Nobody at Uber has ever explicitly told me. I've had drivers tell me. But, but if they fall below that number, they lose their job. They, they lose their gig with Uber. And on the other hand, when you get out of the car, they rate you. So, you know, if you show up at 2 o'clock in the morning drunk out of your mind and pee all over the back seat of their car, and that, by the way, this is the kind of stuff that happens relatively commonly in taxis. People throw up in them, you know, et cetera. They rate you one star, and you get rated badly a couple of times, and they just won't take your business anymore. The company. So there is something to be said for some sort of a meritocratic system in the service industry. But this whole let's pay restaurant workers lousy wages, you know, the, the minimum wage is suspended for restaurant workers in most places. Or at Portland, Portland, Oregon, where I used to live just recently, I mean, just in the last couple of years when I was living there, said, okay, we're going to do away with this. You have to pay restaurant workers minimum wage, which is $8 and something in, in Portland. And you can tip them. And all the restaurants were like, this is going to be the end of the world, but it wasn't. So this is not just, you know, kind of 
small talk stuff. This is this has to do with the one of the largest and one of the only growing industries in the United States. 